Hi, Sarah. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Tired? I'm working on day two of a migraine, so we're quite a pair. <laughs> I was, I, God damn it, I was going to try and make you check to see if Skype was working. Um, no! 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 I'ma get the spray bottle! Tara? I'ma get the spray bottle! I need a can of pennies to shake at you! I need a can of pennies! A what? Get a tennis can full of, or like a Pringles can full of pennies and you shake them! Why? Because cats hate that. Okay. Look, I got I got the spray bottle. I have the spray bottle. I mean, you're just gonna get your webcam wet, but you do you. I don't know if you know this. Why do you have to kill me. my dreams, Tara? <laughs> Why you gotta? And you're in Why one you of the, like that? one of those cornbread states. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, getting... I, uh, for those of you who are watching this on the YouTube are like, what the fuck? Is he drunk? Is that man drunk? <laughs> are drunk? Why are you making me watch the drunk man? I, do, I don't know. He was funny last week. He was not. He was talking about stringing people's butts. I, I don't know what that was. You sh I don't want to watch this man. I am way more than 1.5% <clears throat> cat. I'm like at least 30% cat. So what what's what's happening is I've worked very long today. Uh, I put a new video up. It should be on YouTube before this video. Uh, I'm trying to get back in the swing of it again and do these more regularly and and blah 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 blah. But I also busted. Crazy has got this look on his face like, have you finally fucking lost it? I busted my ass on it. I worked very long hours. I was fighting with my software. Premiere is the devil. I downloaded the devil. Yes, I mean that literally. The devil is software. I have the devil on my computer. Premiere is the devil. Um, I don't think I would put the devil <clears throat> on my computer. I didn't want to either, Tara, but that's where we are now. <laughs> but that's... Well, it's not 2018 anymore. It's 2019. It's 2019. We have survived another year. I don't... I, I'm not sure to... You know what I realized? Oh, what? This May? Yeah. I will have been out of college for 20 years. I'm so old. Me too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's been 20 years since I graduated college. These <sighs> fucking whippersnappers don't know. They don't know. These fucking whippersnackers are like, what's college? Yeah. <laughs> Come well, on. Could afford college once upon a time. People could afford college. We actually could. And then we broke the world. All I right. mean, I had loans, but you know. Well. You're only as old as you think you are. That is true. And in a month, in exactly a month from today, I will be the answer to life, the universe, and everything. So that's not so bad. <laughs> All right, let's let's begin the bullshit because there's quite a bit. We have a potpourri of it, it's it's a potpourri week, just all an assorted random mix of crazy ass bullshit. What would what the fuck is wrong with you? Potpourri smell like regret, booze, and shit. Each week. Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible I'm stuff, and bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And let's just, you know what? I am in a don't give a fuck mood. Let's start with the don't give a fuck. Um, I, I, I have just like this moral anger at really dumb crooks because it's like you don't respect me enough to take to try <laughs> to take my shit 
You you don't respect me. You want my shit. You better come correct. But no, you want it for free. You want a handout. Only you don't want a handout because you don't want to ask. You want to take it. Fucker. Hotel. Weirdly Republican. Hotel guest wearing Casper the Ghost style sheet robs New Jersey in. Are we sure he was pretending to be a ghost and not that he just didn't get out of a um, social club for the evening? Are we sure? Um, I don't know if you can hear that thundering behind me. That's that's Simba and Peggy. Get on, 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 get on. A hotel guest wearing a Casper the Ghost style bed sheet with eye holes cut out leapt over the counter in the hotel's lobby and stole a wad of cash. Joseph Elder, 59, of Wayne, New Jersey, got into the lobby of the Ramada Inn through a now shuttered adjacent restaurant wearing the sheet. Joseph. You are 60, 60 years old. You, you are one year away from that sweet, sweet Medicare. You put on a bed sheet to steal money from a hotel. You couldn't think of nothing better. You're 60. Like a mask. Let me try and do some math here. 60. Is that... I'm trying to figure, was he in that window, that too old for Vietnam window, or was he just right dead on the money there? I don't know. Regardless. Math, math was never my forte. Regardless, you, you saw some shit, Joseph. You lived through some shit. You learned some things. Where did those skills go? You could have, you could have made this a heist. I mean... I'm impressed that the sheet stayed on as he vaulted the counter. Did he belt it? Did he jaunty belt? Officers searching the area after the robbery learned that Elder was actually staying in a room at the hotel. Oh, honey. No. He took their sheet. <laughs> he took the hotel sheet. Now, I want you to think, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay. Nobody's judging here. I want you to think all the nasty shit you've done in a hotel room. Now, multiply that by about... Just square that, then cube it. That's how many other people done nasty shit in that hotel room. Okay? And they did it in that bed... And, that and they do launder the sheets in between guests. There's only so much you can do, Tara. That often, that many times. There it's is, just a powerful thing. It might be a powerful thing, but there is a residue. I'm thinking, I'm wondering if there's like security footage of him <laughs> in his room with the sheet over him. Well, probably always. Well, if there is, then the hotel is in a whole lot of trouble because they're not supposed to put cameras in the rooms. No, but I mean, like in the in the hallways, yeah, that would be just is like there footage of him with a sheet over him leaving his room. his room. Well, oh, okay. Honey, I think this hotel's haunted. No, nah, he's just bad. Think of how much. Think of all the conventions we've been to. Think of how much shit the staff put up with out of us. Think about if anyone would blink a fucking eye at this point. Yeah. I mean, my God, you could have at least brought your own outfit to steal in. At least rob. Don't rob the hotel you're staying in. Like, what are you going to do? Take the money and go back to your room? <laughs> They've got your goddamn ID, you silly son of a... You're 60! That's your getaway plan. They have your credit card on file. Uh, well, the, 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 that's both incidentals, right? If you thought this one was bad, the next one's even fucking worse. The next one's even fucking worse. You remember the wet bandits in, in uh, 
Home yeah. Alone. How Marv was like, we got a thing. We're the wet bandits. And it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Well, real life said. I can top that. Do you know they did like, I don't remember who, but they did tests and figured out that like Macaulay Culkin definitely would have killed those guys. Yes. Like at least three of those traps would definitely have killed them. Oh, yes. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. But crack bandits spotted outside Cedar Rapids. Really? It seems the so-called butt crack bandits aren't exclusive to Cedar Rapids. Scott Rose Rosencrans thinks he spotted the two thieves burglarizing his auto mechanic shop north of Robbins. Did he talk to Steve Gildenstern next door? Rosencrans and Gildenstern. That's nice. That's nice. Um, the bur the the, the the I can't word. The burglars drove a dark blue Toyota Tundra with tinted windows and a dented rear bumper. Cedar Rapids police say they received reports of three or four of these kind of bur burglaries at car washes in about a week's time. The burglars gained notoriety after a theft at a Westdale car, car wash early Christmas morning. The two spent two hours there busting open coin safes and destroying the uh, facility's change machine. Security showed the larger of the two men readjusting his pants as they slipped down exposing his bare posterior to which i can only say at least he didn't have a tramp stamp For, okay, all right, that was good. Ashley, well, they certainly made asses of themselves. Yes. <laughs> I thought they moved, I thought when I heard butt crack bandits, I thought it was going to be like, they rob you, and then they moon your security car cam camera on purpose. Not one of them doesn't own a belt. <laughs> Maybe buy a belt with some of your heist money. Maybe, but yeah, you're you're like, I mean, you've what else are you gonna do with it? You've got a pocket full of quarters. Shorts if we're gonna fight any more crime today, just a belt. I'm I apparently I don't know how, but I seem to have lost like enough weight. My pants are slipping down. Oh. I I got a belt. Problem That's solved. Anxiety. Also, that vehicle seems kind of notable. What a shitty Toyota. A dark well, tr Tundra is a truck, I think. Toyota Tundra. I think that's their truck. But it, it, the worst part of all this is when they get busted, and they will because these are not subtle crooks, when they get busted, they're going to jail with the moniker Butt Crack Bandits. That's not going to play well. There, there are names you could go into jail with, like, you know, the Regulators. Like you know, the, the 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 bad motherfucker, not the butt crack bandits. That's not, you know, Big Jim yeah. Slade. You could probably even pull that one off. Butt crack bandits. I don't. That one's not. No, you're not getting any cred in the yard. Is what I'm saying. No, they're gonna laugh at you. <laughs> this next one is killing me already. <laughs> Have you ever been drunk or fucked up and had an idea that you thought was so good and it really wasn't, but you, you thought, this is the best idea I've had in my life, let's do it. I think I wound up in a couple of relationships that way. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to let you digest this one. Here, here's the picture and the headline. <laughs> Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, poodle. Okay. Oh, tried. Okay, so if we say on the box that it's not dope, <laughs> they won't look in there. Baby, that's so cute. They won't, they won't look in there. 
because we say right on the box it's not dope, but it really is. But we say it's not, and so people won't look. It was in a public library? Irontown Police Department, Ohio, found a container of illegal drugs labeled not dope inside a library. Police said officers found the container inside the library Friday. A loaded syringe and methamphetamine were inside the box. The owner of the box is unknown at this time. You know how you find them. You, you post on Facebook... We found a box that did not contain drugs. If yeah. this is your box, please come and get it. We found your box that is definitely not dope. There, are, there was no drugs in here. We would like to return your box to you, please. How did it come to be at the library is what I want to know. Are people stashing their drugs at the library now? Don't do that. Is, is the library checking out meth now? Like I know that would seem to be a spurious that, that would be a spurious use of taxpayer dollars there, Tara. Like I know libraries aren't doing so hot in America now with the uh, age of the internet and everything, but I didn't realize they'd gone into the mess business. You know what? I'm gonna be a little serious right now. And how do they put those cards on the syringes? You know what? Even with BD, I have used the library more now in this day and age than I have in years, and you know why? Why? They have a printer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before, before we got the fucking replacement, they have a printer. If I have a library card, it's free to get in there. It's like 10 cents, less than 10 cents a copy. It's cheaper than fucking Kinko's. Mm -hmm. And I can check out DVDs and shit. Man, that used to be like our Friday night. Like my mom would take us to the library to pick movies. Like not even like Blockbuster. We went to the library to pick movies. And they only had like 200 movies. This fucking library's got like a whole bunch of Blu-ray. They got like... Nice. They got comic books and shit, man. They got like graphic novels. It's fucking awesome. But, uh, yeah, this I've is... never like For somebody that likes reading as much, I've never liked that library smell. <laughs> you know that very specific library yeah. smell? I don't... I love books, and I love reading. I hate that library smell. But, yeah, this, 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 is, this is drunk and or high people logic. Yeah. They thought this was genius. They truly and honestly believe with all their heart this They're was never going to look in the library. And if they do, we're just going to label that it's not dope. And they'll just, they just. I mean, why would you look in there? It says right on it, not dope. It's telling you not to waste your time. It's a foolproof plan. Exactly. <laughs> like, I definitely, like, I usually label these not cat treats. <laughs> and then the cats just, even if I shake the box, they just don't bother. Exactly. I'm honestly surprised Peggy didn't come running. Oh, so um, New Year's Eve, there was stupidity going on. I'm I'm amazed we didn't get any fireworks stories this week. I'm actually kind of relieved. Um, I actually have to respect just the moxie of these guys. Except this is sort of like a dog chasing a car. What does the dog do when they catch it? Florida men arrested for allegedly stealing half a million dollars of tequila on New Year's Eve. Four men were... <laughs> that is... Four men were arrested early Monday morning accused of stealing more than half a million dollars worth of Patron tequila in Tampa, Florida. That's not bad shit. That's not bad shit. Deputies say they... That's not the best shit, but it's not bad shit. Deputies say they found Vidal Estrada, Lemuel Escobar, Humberto Ramirez, and Alberto Obaya taking cases of Patron tequila from a stolen semi-trailer after a driver found it was missing following a stop for dinner in Tampa. So I, want, I just want you to, to, to pause for a second. This wasn't even shit they planned. 
They this, just happened upon a tequila truck. This guy stopped for dinner, and these four motherfuckers went, you know what? This is opportunity, boys. Our entire lives have led us to this moment. The man, New Year's Eve, there's a fucking tequila truck. Let's go. The men had allegedly already transferred 20 cases of the tequila to a box truck registered to them. So they went and rented a U-Haul and brought that shit to the tequila truck and just started unloading into a U- take this guy to have dinner. <laughs> um, the dinner. The did order? Dinner at a truck stop, Tara. Dinner. I don't know what that means. Lot lizards, Tara. Someone in the comments explain it to her. I'll Pretend go. I've never driven a truck in my life. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that one lie. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave that Ahem. Anyway. Uh wouldn't you be in the truck for that? <laughs> well apparently not paying very close attention. Um there were approximately 966 case of the cases of the tequila with a retail value of half a million dollars. Man, you would drink for free for life. This is, th you know what? I I want to blame them for this, but fuck no. This was season the brass ring. It was right there, and they reached for it. Dan just texted me and said, "Gosh, I wish I was home for the lot lizards bit." <laughs> So around 11... Now I want to know what Dan knows about lot lizards. 11,000 liters of tequila. 11,000. You, at some point, you're just going to stop drinking this shit. And you're going to use it to run your car. I know. I feel like you'd get sick of tequila <clears throat> after a while. Yeah. Be like, man, can we just get like beer? But we we still have a, a guest house full of tequila. I mean, <laughs> to be leaving that shit to your grandkids. Bless their hearts. <laughs> okay, they just this could have been epic. They just didn't. Yeah. They're like, let's let's rent a U-Haul. That's that's the plan. That was not the plan. That was that was the best. <laughs> Is this your U-Haul? Um, no. I am not the patron of this U-Haul full of Patron. <laughs> oh, well, of course shit had to get worse because it was Florida. And hey, it's literal shit getting worse. I just want to get through a week without any literal shit. I know. We're, we used to go weeks we used to. Like, what the fuck happened? We used to go for a whole for like weeks at a time with nobody throwing their own shit at anybody. Have you ever had a teacher who would give you all kinds of hell for every little kind of thing you did in school? From like this 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 high peak of of moral authority. I was always like the teacher's pet in school. I wouldn't. I was I was a real goody goody. I wouldn't. And I all the teachers liked me. Yeah, I liked I I was the class clown. Is anyone surprised? Is any fucking one surprised? No, I was I was very well behaved and got good grades and never made me trouble. I had a teacher like that and then they got busted for some serious shit and I was just like <clears throat> I am vindicated. Hypocrisy. Well, this is um, this is probably the worst kind of vindication any of their students could have ever possibly received. Florida teacher vandalized park with human feces to ruin principal's party. 
Sarasota, Florida teacher is bringing new, me new meaning to the phrase party poop. Gonna read that again. This is, and I want to note this is the Associated Press, and no one claimed this byline. They don't. They don't put names on Associated Press stories. No one. A Florida teacher is bringing new meaning to the phrase party pooper. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Who didn't try? <laughs> That's low hanging fruit. I feel like I'm like Steve Martin and Roxanne. It's like you have this to work with, and the best you can come up with is party pooper. It is literally correct. Florida substitute teacher accused of spreading human feces on tables and grills oh. at a park where a, principal, where a principal was set to host a birthday party told deputies she was, quote, displeased with how the principal was handling a professional issue. There's things you do in a work environment if your manager is not handling things the way you want. Like, I've, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not proud to admit <clears throat> that I yelled at managers I've had before. I made one of my old retail managers cry, which I thought was strange because you're supposed to make me cry, but whatever. Let's, let, let, let me just, all right, here are two, op let, let's just say, given a scenario like this, you have two options. One of them is a physical altercation. Fucking fist fight. Or smearing or poop. Can, like, go to their superior. But all right, let's just say the HR, two bad that's an option. The two worst options. Knock down drag out or smeared poop over everything. Of those two options, which would you choose? Neither. I would choose the fight. Over Smear, I it. I want to note this article does not point out if this is her feces. Yeah. And I can't tell if that's the worst option or not. Maybe like she collected all the kids poop from class. I don't know. And and I want to uh, news and, and this is the worst part. Um. Substitute teacher Heather Carpenter told deputies she spread the feces to disrupt the birthday party principal Allison, Allison Foster had planned for her daughter. <gasps> no. You ruined a kid's birthday party. That kid didn't do anything to you. And you're a teacher. She doesn't need a shit party because you're mad at her mom. This teacher's students have some stories. Because yeah. if you're willing to ruin a child's birthday party with poop, Christ only knows what you have done to other children. Them you, kids got stories. You shouldn't be working with children? No. Or people? I also want to point out, uh, damage to the park totaled more than $2,300. And if people are sitting out there going, why would it cost so much? Okay, when poop is involved, congratulations... Yeah. You've upgraded to biohazard. Yeah, they have to replace all that. That's a specific, specialized sort of cleaning. They have to have special chemicals. They can't salvage some of that stuff. It can't stay. It is a, it's got, all got to go. Yep. So, yeah, you just, you are the, wow. This teacher is my hero. I don't ever want to meet you. No. Because uh, here's another thing. If, if, if I was like so mad, it was like, I'm so mad I could hit them or put poop on them. I would rather hit them because when you go to jail, they're going to, what are you in for? I hit my it boss. A lot cooler. It does. I hit my boss. Okay. What are you in for? I spread poop on things. And everybody <laughs> just sort of. Their daughter's birthday party. Moved. Yeah. You're not, you're nobody's friend. You're, because you're going to jail. You're just, you're yeah. nobody's friend. And people in, People in jail don't like people that fuck with kids. Oh. They're not going to make friends. 
Now it's I mean, you can hurt any kids, but they're they're not going to like you. Can we? This this is great because we're going to end on an upbeat note. We actually are. I swear to God, we are. It has been a long time since stupidity ended in the way that God, we all wish it would. This, I, somebody needs to learn to read. Somebody needs to not be a fucking creepy asshole, but someone needs to learn to read. Um, cops say a would-be kidnapper chased a woman into a karate studio. Even the headline has to say, that was a bad move. A man tries to kidnap a woman by forcing her into his car in North Charlotte, North Carolina. She breaks free and runs into a nearby karate studio, pleading for help. You can already see how this ends. With the suspect being carried out on a stretcher after fighting with a head karate instructor. You decided to fight him? It, I, when, I, when we get there, Tara, you're going to be like, no. Incident happened at 9 p.m. Thursday outside the... Uh, Bushiken, I hope I said that correctly, Karate Charlotte Dojo, uh, and the head instructor, Randall Ephraim. Uh, WSOC reported the cops said the man tried to force the woman in his vehicle near the karate school. Ephraim told CNN he was straightening up when the woman rushed inside the studio. Quote, there were still some kids in the dojo being picked up by parents and a couple adult students cleaning up when a young lady came through the doors and stated someone was trying to harm her. Shortly afterward, a big male entered the building, he said, uh, not knowing what he wanted, I assumed he was inquiring about classes. All right, I like this guy, because he is yeah. just like, and let, here's the picture. I like this guy. I thought he was just here to ask about a class. Ma'am, sit down. Would you like a glass of water? Oh, hello, sir. How I, can we help you today? I asked how I could assist him, and he stated he was there for the lady. She insisted she did not know him and tried to kidnap her. Ephraim said he asked the man to leave. But he stated he was not going anywhere. He then tried to force himself further into the dojo, aggressively pushing and swinging. Dude, you gotta know when to quit. This is like a complete lack of... Do you not know? He's not wearing pajamas! But this also, is... you went into that place. Like, <clears throat> she got away from you. You lose. Yeah. It's not Grand Theft Auto, man. She got into a public place. You don't get to go in and be like, hey, I wasn't done kidnapping her. You have to give her to me. That's not how the world fucking works. Like This, I'm just pointing out, he was not getting ready for bed here. No. There's a reason he was wearing that. That's a pretty big dude, too. Especially with the black belt. That has <laughs> significance. Yeah. It means things. It means he will fuck you up. And it gets better. Um, I went into action defending myself and got him out of the dojo. Once outside, he attempted to attack again. Did you think he got a lucky shot? Did just was this chick like the lost Romanov princess or something? Like and cherry on top, cherry on top. The, the suspect also tried to assault police officers before he was arrested. See, what you should have done, not that I feel bad for this fucking asshole. No. But what you want to do when, you're, when the person you're trying to kidnap runs into a well-lit public place is you want to fucking leave. <laughs> you want to you go. Skedaddle. <clears throat> you find yourself a new victim. Or think about your life and don't kidnap people would be another option. It's, it's, you know you he's... don't charge in and be like, hey, you, you have to give her to me. This is the kind of asshole who's sitting in his hospital bed right now going, man, this isn't fucking fair. This is bullshit. This is bullshit, man. This ain't how it's supposed to work. I thought this was America. I, not, this ain't fair. This is, make America great again. Jesus Christ, this, I, I just, I, I th you are a good dude, you made me happy, sir. Good job, Mr. Ephraim. You, Ephraim, I think it's Ephraim. Ephraim? 
I think that's, I, I'm not sure. I'm not mistaken. I think that's a biblical name. I could be mistaken, but that's just what's well, in biblically my head. it would be pronounced Ephraim, but okay, you actually went to church, so you know more of the shit than I do. <laughs> but it could be. It, I mean, who knows? It's America. Of the two of us, you're the le- least likely to go to hell. You know, but I don't know about that. It, Speaking of which, I started watching The Good Place. Oh, you're just now there. Yeah, I I didn't have anything to watch last night, and I was like, you know what? I heard this was good, and I it kinda, is so, so good. Yeah, I like it so far. It's the best. Oh, it gets so good. I'm not going to spoil a thing. It's fantastic. I'm only like six or seven episodes in. It's oh, there's you, you are going to have fun. It is so. I forgot Ted Danson was that funny. Yeah, me too. Because he's had a lot of clunkers. He's having a ball on the good place. Yeah, he's had a lot of shows that were kind of. Okay. Sammy Mills says, if there's an I, it's a Ephraim. Thank you. My mistake. Here we go. I do not want to disrespect this gentleman because he did a fucking awesome thing, and I'm so glad about that. I think the first thing we learned this week is learn to read. Yeah. Read the signs, read the room, read the situation. Just don't kidnap people. That's two. That's also not a helpful thing to do. People are in not life. Pokemon. <clears throat> no, they're they not. Have to- Jump into your balls if you command them. Oh, hi, Peggy. Are you all done chasing Simba around? You're going to ignore me? Okay, thank you. We have learned that if all of the uh, confrontation techniques for any situation, poop is the worst. It is the absolute worst. Yes. Ah. yes. Okay, maybe murder is worse. Maybe. But I'd still put poop really close to murder. <laughs> it's just not a good idea. Let's just... It's not just a good don't. idea. Um, we've learned that you can be heroes, but just for one day. Because then the cops show up. Yeah. Admire the moxie. You got good hustle, gentlemen. Good hustle, but just problem with the follow through. And it's not like they got arrested trying to steal, like, PBR. Yeah, no one would have given a shit. That's, that, that's the cops have been like, you know what, that's its own punishment. Be on your way. Yeah, you know. You, yeah. We've learned the ideas you have when you're really fucked up are not good ideas. No. Especially if you think they are good ideas. Um, we've learned that how the world labels you is out of your hands and potentially up your butt. <laughs> Wear a belt. <laughs> and finally, we have learned this week, man, you can't, don't, I guess, I guess this is don't shit where you eat and don't rob the hotel you're staying at. Yeah. And don't put on a hotel bed sheet. My God. For God's sake. Oh, Peggy. Oh, no. She saw me moving to grab her and she was like, no, fuck you. I would that I would sooner set myself on fire. Ugh, that's just... I mean, you sleep in the bed, though. I don't know how it's different than just sleeping in the hotel bed. You want me to be perfectly honest? Sometimes I just sleep on the bed. I know that's, that's worse. I yeah, I know, but because I just try not wash to wash sheets in between. I just try not to think about it. It's, they it's, don't wash the bread spreads. They only wash the bed spreads like once a month or something. You the remember they wash in between every visitor. You remember so that's way worse. You remember at conventions there we we all used to pile into rooms together to save money back then. You know there was always one guy who said, I'll take the bathtub, but we all thought they were fucking stupid. And now that we're older, what? I never had that guy. We had that guy. And now now that I'm older, I look back and I'm like, that guy was a fucking genius. 